Hi, welcome um, to this presentation on new media developments in community media communication. Um, this is a quick introduction. Um, the occurrences of gadgets and media that once considered only possible to appear in the latest sci-fi films are now fast from this new form of real-time reality. But while so-called forms of new media are no longer necessarily new, technological developments and seem to be happening all the time. This can, in part, be attributed to that of the increasing speeds of internet access becoming available, which allow even newer media, such as internet, radio, visual chat, webcams, voice chat, mobile phone use, and text messaging, become the norm and standard for many people. As I'm sure many of you here have experienced using the majority, or that are just being listed at some stage, which is a firm example of the UK being part of the forefront of the Western world, that is, globally seen as part of the technological front runners. Um, to the main part, uh, leapfrogging. What's new media in some region of the world may already be widely adopted in others. Interestingly though, it's not always the more advanced and developed countries that are quick to adopt the new technology. Occasionally being surpassed by that of the supposed less developed country counterparts in some cases. This is referred to as leapfrogging, something which is frequently seen in digital technologies. It allows newly industrialised nations, the lesser developed countries, to partially bridge the digital divide gap, in effect bringing the past into the future. It allows them to learn from their from mistakes or errors in developing new technologies that the more developed nations have made when using the same technology without, without trying to make it them, them themselves and getting a competitive edge from it also. An example of this will be the adoption rates of mobile phones and other wearable technologies from the time they were introduced in newly industrialised nation, nations, i.e. Russia, Egypt, Malaysia, some parts of Asia, uh, which have been considered in this category at one time have surpassed those in industrialised nations where such technologies have existed for some time. The main aim is to provide great access to computer and other technologies to those people who normally have no way of accessing it on their own, without having to build upon or develop an existing technology, and instead just implement the latest and most developed type of technology in place of the existing methodology, methodology for that means of purpose. It isn't always straightforward though, as it takes time and money and land the new years the ability to get to grips and understand the new technology and media being implemented. There's also an expectancy that new media and technology developments will always come commonplace, which without time, money and maintenance, is, it isn't always going to happen. And nor will it always be available, despite the, despite the people's reliance upon such a presumed aspect. Okay, moving away from that, uh, and bringing the, from bringing the past into the future, and this is the present itself, will be the idea of blogging on wiki technology and media usage. Although recent trend in CMC usage, it now has a widespread adoption and something which consists of writing short, frequently updated postings arranged chronologically, a bit like an online diary. One of the key developers behind it, David Weiner, created a long-running blog known as Scripted News. He also helped develop a similar post in CMC known as RSS, which is a confluence of David Weiner's really simple syndication technology used to push out blog updates and Netscape's rich site summary which allowed users to create custom Netscape homepages with regularly updated data flows. Um, as well as also developing podcasting, which he hopes a player will be developed for in the future, for working similarly to that of the BlackBerry device, which downloads emails automatically for the auto download of previously subscribed to podcasts. Um, this could have be, may well be a sign for the future of CMC also. Um, it has been argued, however, that the first sign of blogging uh, was done so by Tim Berners-Lee, with his mini article on the state of technology in 92, given the style and format in which it was written and then publicly, publicly processed also. Some blogs are public, others are private. Group blogs tend to promote community and group cohesion. For example, there's one blogger writes, I've learned that people can feel very personally connected to others throughout the world despite physical constraints. Um, examples of other known blogging websites will be Blogger and EG, blogger and EG blogs. Uh, although one will be more for commercial means, while others are designed for suiting those of education and academic means. Uh, a means of communicating within tutor groups, project teams, or simple with peers. Uh, an extension to this will be Twitter, which is designed for friends and family and co workers to communicate and stay connected through the exchange of quick, frequent answers to one simple question What are you doing? Uh, a further trend that promotes a sense of community is the wiki. One of the best examples of wikis is Wikipedia. Uh, an, open, an open content encyclopedia where thousands of volunteers have contributed more than 100,000 articles. Uh, what is unique about Wikipedia is that any information on it can be changed or deleted by any visitor on the visitor to the site. Although this could be seen um, as not being deemed valid, as certainly the content display is not secure either, and it can be deleted again in seconds. I have used it myself though for uh, educational and academic purposes, and the information obtained from it proves to be 
pretty much 99% true and accurate, so it could be seen as being useful for its purpose in terms of seeing the technology uses anyway. Um, continuing on from the theme of forecasting the podcast in the future, as mentioned earlier, and it brings us on to Wi-Fi, uh, particularly the communication use of it within CMC. Wi-Fi, or wireless fidelity, which is the term used generically when referring to any type of op- 802.11 network, which is the current technology being used to provide the wireless access today, uh, is the current feature technology in place today, in that it's fastly being implemented in more and more ways by more and more people every day, while still delivering allowance for that cutting edge feature, which is required the new or future te- technological advancements. Its current implementation includes being able to receive emails on mobile phones or hand on computer, as well as tracking download audio MP- MPC, which can make your wireless equipment more efficient than a possible CD player. Uh, Wireless technological technology expert Alex Lightman has estimated in 2002 that there would be more than a billion wireless internet users by 2005. From a study undertaken by Instat and MDR in 2003, they forecasted that there would be over 2, million, 2 billion wireless or Wi-Fi internet users worldwide by 2007, over a third of which would be using a mobile phone or other handheld device in order to take part in this activity. Um, furthermore, it's a quick breakdown of the level of Wi-Fi usage worldwide from 2004 as well as how it is put to use. Um, this in fact shows that Alex Lightman's estimations as well as the study undertaken by Instat and MDR are going partly to be found as true. Um, EBCOMP or Ubiquitous Computing or Wearable Computers are part of the newest form of CNC uses and design. It's growing more feasible to be online near, near on all the time with functionality increasing and device size decreasing simultaneously. Examples of such wearables include smart clothing once you've computers and textiles, there's also wearable digital assistants or wearable personal assistants, uh, which is the next step after VDAs. Something similar to that developed between Motorola and Frog Design, known as the Offspring Wearables concept, basing a lot of it on the Bluetooth technology. As well as the digital set eyeglasses and portable DVD players that project images and films right before the user's eyes, which again is similar to that of the technology used um, in easy vision devices which is principally, principally, principally the same concept, only without the wireless effect of communication with others, but the technolo- technology and hardware or software aspect of which is clearly evident and used all the same. Uh, in the future, it's said that CMC will rely on the wireless and stylish standards of um, UbiComp, allowing users to engage in CMC at any time in any place. Um, so in summary, well, no, it can be safely said, therefore, that leapfrogging brings nations closer to the technolo- technology available uh, and, c- and helps close the digital divide in CMC. The current usage of blogging and wikis help with thorough communication and promotes community and group cohesion well, whereas the use of Wi-Fi is going to be a strong contender for the foundations provided for new technological media developments when it comes to using CMC. Uh, for more information on any subject matter covered in this presentation or for viewing references and resources used for this purpose, please visit the link displayed on screen. Thank you very much. That's the end of the presentation.